Uh, Friday marked 50 years since the death of the senior Mitford sister. Nancy Mitford was a journalist, biographer and fiction writer. And although the world and society in which she lived, her life now seems remote to us, her work and her correspondence continue to delight readers today. Most recently, her first novel, The Pursuit of Love, was translated into a celebrated BBC drama. To discuss her life and legacy, I'm delighted to have with me Jessica Fellows, author of the Mitford Murders book series, as well as Nancy's nephew, Benjamin Trueheart, who joins me from Coventry. Uh, Benjamin, it's uh, a, a great pleasure to have a member of the family on the show. Uh, can you share with us uh, any memory that you have of Nancy Mitford? You must obviously have been uh, very young uh, when she died. Well, it was only 60 years ago or something. I, I remember clearly. Uh, she gave me five pounds um, when I was visiting with my mum, uh, when, when Decca was um, doing the final touches on her first uh, book, her first big book in the UK called uh, Hans and Rebels. And she dragged me along. And um, w one of the things we did was visit some of the relatives, uh, some of, and uh, Nancy was great. You know, she gave me five pounds saying, this is a tip for being a good boy. <laughs> and I, among our um, encounters, when we had a few after that, including one or two in the Rue Monsieur, which was her, her uh, French abode in Paris. I can't remember anything. I'm sorry to say, I'm hoping you get my sister on the line who knows everything about Nancy. Yes, we, we, we were hoping that your sister, uh, Dinky, would be on the line as well. Uh, and uh, just to explain, your mother was Decca, uh, Jessica, who is also um, a very remarkable um, writer. Uh, and we have Jessica Fellows with us too. Uh, how would you yeah. uh, assess Nancy <laughs> Mitford, a, a, a remarkable author? How would I watch? Sorry, so, um, assess. Just a question, sorry. How would you assess Nancy Mitford? Oh, um, which I, I mean, she's always the one that I say is the one I, of all the sisters I probably would most like to have gone out for a martini with and a bit of a, you know, gossip. She was an incredibly acute observer of her class. Uh, and she was a very complicated woman and not always straightforwardly happy. But I feel like she was quite a pioneering woman for us because she was somebody who knew that she couldn't fit into a lot of society's expectations that had been in place when she was a young girl, pre-First World War. And what happened after the First World War was that so many women realised that they were not going to be able to get married. There simply weren't enough men to go around. And they were going to have to find some other means of, of forging ahead. And she did try to at first. She was very unhappily engaged to a man who was um, gay for many years. And then she was engaged to, and then she was married um, very sort of unsuccessfully and she wasn't able to have children which caused her great sadness uh, but I think when she had great success with her first book novel after the Second World War she sort of saw a way to just live life the way that she was going wanted to and moved to Paris which she adored and had an affair with a sort of with a married man which maybe wasn't the best way ahead but she kind of she lived her life the way she wanted to she bought herself the most fabulous frocks she furnished her apartment beautifully and she wrote letters she was very aware of her abilities as a writer and she was kind of aware that her letters were almost like a historical document that they would be published in the future as they have been and, you know she was interesting I mean, there were so many dynamics going on between those six sisters uh, but she was the one who perhaps i think best recorded them um, and then, of course your mother <coughs> jessica would be the most fabulous book as well <laughs> and what was interesting is you saw that all of the sisters had slightly different recollections of their upbringing but that's what history is um, Benjamin, think, uh, uh, oh, Nancy Mitford wrote about uh, her family, your family. She wrote about uh, Uncle Matthew, who was actually um, her father. Uh, and um, he was a man with a volcanic temper who fulminated against Huns and foreigners. And, and of course, you know, it, Nancy Mitford was poking fun at this extraordinary figure. But recently now, we've had uh, trigger warnings about Nancy Mitford's work. How do you feel about that? Oh, I, it's ridiculous. Um, I think uh, tr trigger warnings um, um, about historical things are crazy. I, I was thinking of an analogy. Um, 
well, I, I don't know if it doesn't strike me now, but um, it, it's crazy. I mean, these these are people like my mum and her sisters. They're all pretty good writers, including Debo, the Duchess of Devonshire. She was very funny and great uh, at writing, but I'm sure they said many incorrect things because of the time, you know, and so why... Uh, in fact, my mother had a book of letters come out a few years ago, um, and right now they're reprinting it. Uh, it's called uh, uh, The Letters of Jessica Mitford, um, and they're wanting to put trigger warnings throughout it, and the compiler of these letters is refusing to go along with it, and I think he's going to stop publication of the whole thing. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you to Benjamin Truhart and to Jessica Fellows for calling Nancy Mitford.